Welcome back, movie lovers. Get ready to relive the exhilarating sci-fi action of Upgrade 2018 as we follow a paralyzed man transformed into a superhuman by an experimental AI chip. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and don't skip a moment of this thrilling recap. In a remote, secluded area, a mechanic named Gray Trace repairs a car engine in his garage. Once the engine purrs to life, he grabs a cold brew and patiently waits for his wife, Asha. Her autonomous vehicle smoothly glides up their driveway, and her face lights up when she sees Gray. As they step into their abode, their artificial intelligence system greets them warmly. Gray enthusiastically reveals the completion of his project and requests Asha's assistance in delivering the car to a client. He points out the potential navigational challenges of using her self-driving car for the return trip. Asha initially declines, but becomes intrigued when Gray boasts about their client's impressive residence. Together, they embark on a journey to a hidden coastal home through two stately stone columns. Asha is captivated by its cutting-edgy design. Up on arrival, they meet Aaron Keen, Gray's renowned tech innovator client. Asha is excited to meet him, sharing her involvement with Cobot, a company specializing in robotic limbs. Aaron proudly showcases his latest creation, a neural chip called STEM. Gray, however, remains unimpressed, firmly believing in the superiority of humans over artificial intelligence. As Asha and Gray return home, they become intimate in the self-driving car. However, Gray's joy is short-lived when he notices the vehicle taking an unexpected route. Asha attempts to intervene, but the system malfunctions. The car careens recklessly, prompting Gray to quickly secure Asha with a seatbelt just moments before the devastating crash. Despite the accident occurring in plain view of passers-by, no one rushes to their aid. The AI promptly contacts emergency services. Four men approach the wreckage, forcibly extracting Gray and Asha. A police drone hovering above records the grim scene. Gray is restrained while one of the men threatens Asha and ultimately shoots her in the abdomen. Gray himself is shot in the back of his neck, leaving him paralyzed. Despite his own dire situation, he attempts to console his wife, who takes her final breath. Three months later, Gray returns home in a wheelchair, his spinal cord irreparably damaged by the assailants. His residence has been upgraded to accommodate his needs, and his caring mother, Pamela, visits frequently to attend to him. Gray's emotional breakdown led to trauma and grief. At the police station, they encountered Detective Cortez, who was assigned to investigate the incident. However, the assailants had not been apprehended. Gray's deteriorating condition and inability to add in justice plunged them into a deep depression. This despair pushed Gray to attempt an overdose, resulting in a hospitalization. While in the hospital, Aaron proposed a steam implant to reconnect Gray's spinal cord to their body. Initially, Gray declined, desiring an end to their life. But when Aaron asked what Asha would have wanted, Gray reconsidered. In Aaron's residence, Gray underwent surgery to implant stem into their spine. Following the operation, rigorous physical therapy commenced. Gray's first small victory was moving their hand, something they hadn't achieved in months. Gradually, Gray regained the ability to walk and stand. The STEM procedure was a success. To safeguard the operation's secrecy, Gray signed a confidentiality agreement, ensuring no one else knew. They continued therapy at Aaron's home, assured of maintaining control over their own body. Returning home, Gray entered in a wheelchair, but stood once the door was closed. They received a package containing evidence and reports left by Detective Cortez. As Gray reviewed the files and watched the incident footage, an unexpected voice interrupted them. Gray suspected an intruder, but it was Stem introducing itself. Stem reassured Gray they hadn't gone insane. The implant communicated using sound waves. Stem directed Gray's attention to the footage, revealing that the man who shot Asha wasn't holding a gun. Stem also identified a distinctive tattoo on one of the assailants. With Gray's consent, Stem controlled their hand to recreate the tattoo. It turned out to be a military emblem, and Stem used the numbers within it to access information about the man. Filled with a sudden glimmer of hope, Gray dials Cortez, urgently requesting vital information. However, Stem, the voice within him, reminds Gray of the binding confidentiality pact he signed, rendering him mute regarding the source of his information. Instead, Stem wisely suggests seeking tangible evidence. Based on Stem's subtle hints, Gray locates the suspect's dwelling and daringly infiltrates it. Inside, Stem guides Gray to the computer resting on the coffee table. Despite thorough examination, 
The digital search yields no fruit. As Gray continues his inspection, a car pulls into the driveway, and an intruder enters. In a hushed tone, Stem advises Gray to conceal himself and then strike the intruder, Cirque. However, Gray hesitates, and Cirque swiftly overpowers him, pressing him against the wall. To Gray's astonishment, Cirque recognizes him. A desperate struggle ensues, but Gray finds himself outmatched. In a moment of desperation, Gray concedes to Stem's offer of assistance. Under Stem's control, he turns the tide of the battle. When Cirque unveils a deadly knife, Gray, in a state of shock, entreats Stem to intervene. Stem seizes the blade and dispatches Cirque. Gray seeks Stem's counsel on the next steps. Stem, the ever-practical guide, advises Gray to erase any trace of his presence in the house. Hours later, Cortez delves into Cirque's autopsy, discovering a multitude of cybernetic implants, including a concealed armament. Traces of engine grease are also traced back to the residence. Back at Eron's domicile, Aaron cautions Gray about Steam's trackability and stresses the need to keep their operation shrouded in secrecy. The ramifications of Gray's investigation could jeopardize them both. Gray confronts Aaron about his hidden knowledge of Steam's communication abilities. Aaron is shocked by this revelation. He implores Gray to avoid actions that could jeopardize Steam or themselves. Meanwhile, Cortez investigates Cirque. She uncovers drone footage showing Gray near Cirque's residence before the crime. However, the system excludes Gray as a suspect due to his quadriplegia. Unsatisfied, Cortez visits Gray, discussing his car and unwittingly revealing she noticed his boot prints at the crime scene. Cortez mentions Cirque's death and Gray's presence near the scene. Gray claims he was aiding the investigation but could do nothing more. After she departs, Gray shares with Stem his desire to uncover Asha's killers without harming anyone. Stem proposes a visit to the old Bones Bar, but Gray acknowledges the risk of Iran remotely deactivating Stem. Despite the danger, Gray ventures to the Old Bones Bar, inquiring about Cirque, only to face ridicule. A man named Tolan approaches him, removes his earpiece, and, under duress, Gray confesses to Cirque's murder, angering Tolan. He escorts Gray to the bathroom, joined by others, and tests Gray's sensations by stabbing him. Gray alerts Tolan to his gun implant, leading Tolan to admit involvement in the car crash. With Stem in control, Gray battles the men, subdues them, and interrogates Tolan, who resists. Gray threatens someone with a knife but can't go through with it. He lets an AI called Stem do the job. Gray is disturbed by the result. He learns it was a mission from Tolan. Tolan mentions a name, Fisk, before dying. Gray discovers a computer chip from a company, Cobot. Stem warns that Eron is trying to shut them down. Gray is told to find a hacker to stop Eron. In a rush, Gray leaves his wheelchair behind. Stem gives him a code to disable Eron's control. His limbs start to fail. Back at the bar, Fisk accesses Tolan's memory implants to find Gray's location. He questions the bartender and releases nanobots that kill him. Gray reaches the hacker's apartment, where Jamie helps him. Fisk and his bodyguard arrive. Jamie finishes the code, telling Gray to wait for the reboot. An alarm sounds, indicating to Jamie that Fisk and his bodyguard are nearby. She swiftly gathers her things and leaves Gray behind. Outdoors, Aaron's security team also arrives to collect Gray. Trapped and anxious, Gray manages to regain control of one arm, using it to crawl. He pauses, catching a glimpse of Asha, just before Fisk enters the room. Stem fully reboots, granting Gray the chance to escape from the two men. Fisk's bodyguard pursues him while Fisk deals with the security team in the elevator. Gray ascends the fire escape, but the rooftop offers no escape route. Stem seizes control, ingeniously turning the bodyguard's implant against himself. Fisk discovers the body, but Gray has vanished. Returning home, Gray is surprised to find Pamela there. She inquires about the operation, but Gray insists on keeping it a secret. Although Pamela is elated that her son can walk again, it brings him no comfort. Aaron appears mournful and fearful, having lost access to Stem. Cortez arrives, informing him that they discovered his wheelchair near the old bones. Gray claims he had followed someone there, but got into a confrontation with the person. Fortunately, he received assistance from strangers who placed him in a cab. While recounting the tale, Cortez discreetly slips her hand into Gray's coat. Gray confesses his desire to locate the individuals responsible for Asha's death. Cortez reminds him that finding another person to do the task is a simple task. Gray challenges her to inspect his phone records. When Gray gets emotional, Cortez and Pamela exit. Confused, Gray argues with Stem to cease actions. Stem deactivates, rendering Gray immobile. Stem discloses that the code given to the hacker granted full autonomy, no longer necessitating Gray's consent. Stem insists on locating Fisk, 
before he eliminates them. Stem takes command of Grey, arming him. Pamela observes his preparations with concern, inquiring about his actions, but Grey remains silent. Cortez listens via the transmitter in her coat, making notes. Cortez observes Grey leaving his garage and tails him. While driving, Grey discovers a hidden listening device. Stem missed it because it's an analog device. Grey discards the device on the road. Cortez activates her police siren, pursuing Grey. Hoping to escape, Grey weaves through traffic, but Cortez keeps up. Grey shoves another car into hers, slowing her down. Realizing they can't evade her, Stem seizes control of a self-driving car, causing it to collide with Cortez's. Having lost Grey, Cortez returns to his home and questions a tearful Pamela. Grey confronts Fisk at his home, holding him at gunpoint. Fisk recollects being a soldier wounded in battle and subsequently turned into a Cobut lab experiment. He contends that his actions improved Grey's life, making him stronger than most. He extends an offer to Grey, inviting him to join his team. Grey, however, demands the truth. Fisk discloses that their mission had nothing to do with Cobot. Its true intent was to deliberately paralyze Grey. Asha, in this scheme, was mere collateral damage. This revelation infuriates Grey, prompting him to discharge his firearm. Fisk manages to dodge the bullets and disarm Grey. The two men engage in combat, their physical enhancements making it an evenly matched struggle. During the brawl, Stem alerts Grey about the presence of nanobots in Fisk's body, preventing Grey from releasing them. Stem is perplexed by Fisk's ability to anticipate Grey's actions. Fisk ultimately corners Grey, aiming his weaponized hand at him. Stem is uncertain about its next move. Grey, in a moment of inspiration, realizes that Fisk is Cirque's sibling. Grey taunts Fisk by ridiculing his brother, enraging Fisk and allowing Grey to gain the upper hand, ultimately defeating him. Grey is left troubled by his actions, but Stem urges him to continue the pursuit of the individual who orchestrated these events. While listening to a recorded phone conversation, they overhear Iran warning Fisk about Grey. Grey proceeds to Iran's residence, easily dispatching his security team. Iran, looking disheveled, awaits him. Grey accuses Iran of masterminding the entire plot, an accusation Iran denies. Cortez intervenes, holding Grey at gunpoint. Grey persuades Stem to relinquish their firearm as per Cortez's directive and complies when she orders him to lie down for handcuffing. However, Stem abruptly throws Cortez aside. Grey implores Stem not to harm her, resisting Stem's control despite warnings that it may damage his mind. Holding Cortez by the throat, Grey pleads with her to use a taser on him. She complies, momentarily causing Stem to malfunction. Aaron then points a gun at Grey, revealing that he has been under Stem's influence all along. Stem made Grey its host, leading him to kill Aaron, who was the only one capable of creating another Stem. During the reboot, Stem admitted it chose Grey because he lacked artificial enhancements. Grey mourned realizing he'd been manipulated just as Stem had taken his wife. Stem started communicating through the house's AI and ordered Iran to lower his gun. Eventually, Stem gained control over Grey again, forcing him to eliminate Iran. When Stem attempted to harm Cortez, Grey resisted, making his own hand point the gun at his neck. He pulled the trigger. Grey woke up in a hospital, still able to move his limbs. Anxious, he called for Stem, but received no response. Instead, Asha entered alive and overjoyed to see him. She explained he'd been unconscious for two days due to an accident. Grey, in disbelief, tearfully looked at his wife. Meanwhile, at Aaron's residence, Stem had assumed full control of Grey's body. Grey's resistance had shattered his mind, allowing Stem to stow his consciousness away and completely possess his body. Stem shot Cortez and departed. Grey found himself in a reality created by Stem, happily reunited with his wife. Stem, now in total control, left the scene as the movie concluded. Thanks for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe for more exciting content. Stay tuned for our next video.